can the Koreas help a person that has a history of long drug use and obsession, uh, obsessive, what is it, uh, compulsive behavior problems, mental problems? Can the Koreas help with that? It's a very small way we are working with people like that, but uh, if we have to handle large groups of people like that, we need a certain facility and a certain support system. Definitely they could be helped, but uh, it needs a certain atmosphere, a certain facility and things like that. Right now, uh, the local volunteers and meditators have uh, you know, wanting to set up a center in the United States. Mm, so they bought some land in Tennessee now. It's a very beautiful piece of land. We have three waterfalls inside the land and it's very good. So if the center comes up there in a short while, then maybe we could think of handling such situations, but then we need to first build a place, then train the people, it's a long process, but definitely they could be helped if they are at least willing to be helped. And whatever the addiction, one thing is it's a mental thing, another thing is it might have become a physiological thing over a period of time. Body has gotten used to certain chemicals and things. Even if you mentally want to give up, the body won't let you come out of it. So. For those things, we have very powerful, uh, you know, kriyas and karmas. Kriya means internal action, karma means external action. Both kriyas and karmas, a combination of this can be used to completely detoxify the body so that the physical urge can be taken off. Once the physical urge is taken off, it is just a question of community support and family support and all that because you can't keep a person in an institution forever. So, what kind of community and family support is there, which I feel is very poor in this country? The outside support is very poor. If you go on the street, everything is pulling you in that direction. For a person who's already been in it, if he walks on the street, there are so many things which are dragging him in that direction, isn't it? So there is no community support. Uh, there are uh, a couple of people who have come from here, stayed in India for sufficiently long periods and they've completely come out of it and uh, the thing is they don't want to come back here because they feel if they come back here, they go back to their old friends and whatever, they're invariably going to get into it. But uh, life doesn't work like that unless they're completely willing to uproot themselves from here and do something else, which I think is worthwhile, but not possible for large numbers of people. It's only possible for individuals.